What's good guys, it's your boy Smash and I'm coming with you guys with another vid. This today I'll be showing you my hybrid build. Uh, just giving you a template man. Um, I like to use skills and I like to use my weapons. So separate from having a fully damaged build or a fully um, skill build, I have a hybrid with a good mix of both. Well disclaimer, this is a template. Alright? No one's build is gonna be precise, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna RNG is gonna give you random drops. Uh, you know, you may be lucky, you may not be lucky. You may have certain pieces, you may not have certain pieces. So when you watch these videos similar to this, you know, take it with a grain of salt and just tweak it to to what you got and what you're gonna get, you know. So we're gonna start out. My specialization is gonna be the technician, right? For the rocket launcher. The bonus of this for a hybrid build specifically is going to give us an extra skill tier, which is good. Alright, so here's what I'm running. Your boy got the capacitor not too long ago to complete this build. Um, if you don't have the capacitor, you can run a weapon that has uh, in sync or even um, that has in sync or uh, something with future perfection on it. And that's only because you get skill damage and you get weapon damage simultaneously depending on what weapon you use. So with my capacitor, for people that have the capacitor, the skill shooting enemies builds stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. After five, per, after 5 seconds, stacks the cape 1 per second. For each skill tier, keep in mind, skill tier, you gain 7.5% weapon damage, guys. So right now, I'm at a skill tier 3. So 7.5 times 3, we're looking at 22.5 skill damage. On top of whatever else, I mean weapon damage. On top of whatever else I already have on my build, right? So it works simultaneously. The synergy on this build is going to be nasty. Watch this. As my secondary weapon, I'm running the Dark Winter. Um, and this, my second weapon is interchangeable. Because sometimes I'll rock the Dark Winter, which will give me, which has perfect killer on it. Killing an enemy with a critical hit grants plus 50% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. Just imagine the amount of damage you can output with that. Right? So I use this one more so to cater to my DPS, which is my damage per second build, which is more of the red. Uh, for anybody that's new to the game, I'll be surprised if anybody's new to the game, but hey, you just never know, right? Um, I'll use the ASR sometimes, which is an assault rifle that I really like. It has in sync. It's not perfect in sync, but it's in sync. And what I was saying earlier, in sync, hitting an enemy grants plus 15% weapon skill damage for five seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants you 15% weapon damage for 5 seconds. If you activate both of them, it damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So for 5 second spurts, you're, you're doubling your damage skill wise and weapon wise. Right? So you can use that. I've used that before. Or I'll switch between the mechanical animal. Um, only because that has fu uh, future perfection on it, right? Weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds. Stacks up to three. Weapon kills at skill tier six grant overcharge for 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Like, you don't even have to have this weapon specifically, but that skill. So a skill with future perfection, uh, or just perfection on it, and in sync. You, you you in there. You in there for a hybrid build. And they made those specifically to cater to hybrid builds, I feel. Let's get to the gear though. So for my mask, I'm running uh, one wyvern for the plus ten percent skill damage. My role on this one, like I told you guys in my disclaimer, this is all a template, right? Because my roles will be different from your roles. Um some people may want to optimize their or craft their uh certain attributes to cater to match what I have but 
it's not it's not you know it depends on what you want to run right so my role for this one I got I rolled um 12% skill haste on here this might be from a previous build but it, it worked out with this one right so I crafted 12% skill haste on there to get my my skills back quicker this one has status effect on it I'm not really using anything with status at the, at this particular moment but hey it is what it is um, like I said it's not fully optimized but this is the best hybrid build for me and I think that you can emulate or even you know what I'm saying do your thing with but uh, we got 10% critical 10.7% sorry critical hit damage on top of that right so now let's go to my vest for my vest I'm running the named door kickers knock right so this is a group of sombra named what uh, vest and this is going to give me plus 15 crit hit damage and my drop on it, my roll on it, was 13.9% weapon damage. It came with headshot damage, and it also came with, I rolled crit hit chance on there. It came with crit hit chance, but it was a low percent, so I rolled up my uh, maxed out, which is the 6% on there. And it came with a mod slot, so on my mod slot, I added 5.5% crit chance. So you'll see the synergy of all this later on. And, and before I, I'll skip it, this came with name weapons come with the perfect attribute version of any other uh, talent, right? Meaning, so this one is perfect spark. So you will have a, another piece that may just have a regular spark on there. And it's just the percentage is maybe 5 to 10% less than what the perfect burn, version gives you, right? So on this one, we got the perfect spark. Damaging enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 15% for 20 seconds. So for 20 seconds, our skill damage is increasing our weapon damage by 15%. Remember earlier I told you, check the synergy out, right? So P, P. So our skill is going to give us weapon damage 15% for 20 seconds. All right? So for my holster, I'm running the Seca, which gives me 10% crit hit chance. And my roll on there, it came with weapon damage and crit chance. I rolled an additional crit hit damage on there, right? So crit hit chance caps at 60%. So I want to get close to 60, if not exactly on 60. And for anything red, cater towards crit hit damage. We want to we want to light them up when we do hit them with our weapons. So for my backpack, I'm running the named Hannah U, which is the force multiplier, and that comes with 10% skill haste. Like I said earlier, we got skill haste on top of skill haste from another gear set, so we can get our back weapons back a little quick or skills back a little quicker. And then this came with a skill tier, uh, it came with crit chance. I rolled skill damage on there. And then I added a mod for crit hit chance, right? So peep that. For my gloves, for my gloves, I'm running the best in slot gloves, right? In my opinion. Uh, and a lot of division agents' opinions as well. The contractor's gloves, the Petrov. You, you can't beat these gloves, man. Any Anything related to a red build you or some kind of red attributes, you want these, right? I recently just got the BTSU gloves after so long on a freaking exotic cache imagine that um that would cater more if i wanted to run more of a skill if i want my my hybrid build to lean more to the skill i'd probably use that but it, it's so close together but i want the extra damage with my weapon because that's that's actually what i like uh preferably so with this we get the lmg damage bonus or so 10 percent I'm not really running the LMG, but if I were to, I had that extra 10%, right? So that part right there is kind of a waste, but it's everything else that, that, that makes this pop. So we got weapon damage, we got damage to armor, and then we got, I rolled crit hit chance on this one. Remember I said we're trying to get close, if not exactly on 60, right? 60%, that's the cap for uh, crit hit chance. So that's what we got on this. And then on my knee pads, I am running the Providence Defense. We have plus 15 headshot damage. We're them up. 
Uh, we got a roll of weapon damage on this one. I rolled in my calibration table. I rolled uh, skill damage. I may be able to bump that up some. I got. Oh no, I don't. I'm capped out right there where I'm at. So as we get better rolls, I, I've, I've played other games and kind of fell off the division. We weren't really consistent, and I was doing other builds as well. So I didn't really get the pieces that I'm looking for, but I'm still looking. So like I said, we're not fully optimized, but we're getting there. So I got roll skill damage on there and skill repairs that came with that. So like I said, we need to be farming, right? So, but with all that together, oh, before I even get to my stats. So for me, I am running. So right now with the, what we at, we are at a skill tier three, right? Skill tier three. So we're four, we're four uh, red skills. I mean, four red, four red core attributes and two yellow uh, attributes. So the red is for uh, offensive weapons, pretty much just offense, like damage, and then the yellow is for skills, skill based. So we got the two, but we add three because. Our specialization, the technician, gives us an extra skill to it. Um, and some people may, you may could do a perfect balance and do three yellows with the four. I like, like I said, I have to, I like to have a, like a little bit extra oomph in my punches, so that's why I went for the extra one extra red. But like what I was saying with the gloves, I could probably switch that with my skilled, uh, skill core attribute, uh, the BTSU gloves, because that has a skill on it as well. Which is pretty good with this with this particular build, but for this one, oh, and I even mentioned earlier. So my skill, my talent on here, because this is a main backpack, is the perfect combined arms, right? So shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by thirty percent for three seconds. Now three seconds is like oh damn, but imagine this: it's a hybrid build, right? So we're gonna be shooting. Our skills are gonna be shooting. As, as we're at all cause of damage as we're shooting our skills are buffed 30% for three seconds there's no cooldown so as we're shooting and landing shots our skill is right there with us tag teaming this is perfect if you're running solo uh, uh, sometimes I run Dolly um, sometimes I run in a group this works for both ways right so this like I said this is what I like you can take this as a template flip it to your to cater to your style and get it rocking and, and, and envision that so like I said so the synergy is just perfect with this so right here on my vest I'm getting the buff of weapon damage or my skills do damage with perfect spark and then on top of that while I'm doing that I'm getting I'm getting damage buffs again on my skill is getting is getting uh, buffed up an additional 30% right so let's go look at our stats so the stats people like to see numbers right so my weapon damage overall with this particular gun 96,000 you know, it's all right, it's all right. but this is the part right here right crit hit chance on my capacitor exotic weapon we capped out our crit chance at 60 percent so once you hit that 60 percent everything else if you have anything additional you want to do or any uh, recalibration you want to do you want to cater towards your skill and your crit damage right so in this one we're, we're pushing 92.7 percent crit hit damage so when we land those critical shots plus our regular damage is bumping up 92.7 percent right mind you that's not adding in the synergy that we're getting from our buffs when we're when our skills are doing damage right so that's that's uh is that multiplicative i believe so but uh yeah so this this is our base right here right but what everything else oh my god the numbers is ast astronomical so let's go down here let's see so specifically with the capacitor well with this weapon all our weapon damage is 82 percent right we're using the ar so we got an additional 27.3 percent on top of the 82 percent and imagine if we get that with critical with some critical damage on top of that with that 92 percent you do the math you do the math and let me know below in the comment section just say just say smash damn that's all you got to say that's all you got to say all right so we're going to switch the weapon 
So my my secondary weapon, I'll show you the guys the stats on that. We're pushing, like I said, we we reached sixty percent, right? So in this one, the damage isn't too tough, but just remember with all the additives that we got on there, we, we boosted. The additives and the multiplicatives, it, it is the numbers is going it's going it's going to look good. So on here, sixty percent crit chance, sixty seven percent point seven uh, crit damage, right? Let's come down. So on this one, like I said, it's a secondary weapon. It meant to be a backup, but we're running 59.6% all weapon damage with this one. And then we get an additional 15 on top of, no, I'm sorry, 30% on top of that because it's a submachine gun, right? So that's 89.6%, right? Plus, if we land in crit hits, OMG, add that 67%, 67.7% specifically in there. If we, it's a headshot, that's even more damage that we bump in on there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, give it a try, man. This is this is my 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 hybrid build. I recently got the capacitor, like I said. So before I had the capacitor, I was running. Where was my weapon? I'll show you exactly what I was running. Sometime, like I said, I was running the ASR. But as of most recent, I was running the mechanical animal, and I even ran. Where is it at? I was running the harm. No, this ain't the harm, man. I'm, I'm lying. Oh, yeah, it was the Harmony. I was running the Harmony, but I ended up uh, picking up this one that was a little stronger, so I tossed up the previous one. But, uh, yeah, so I was running Mechanical Animal, mainly, or I was running my, where is it, ASR. I mean, ACR, oops, the ACR for the sync. But once I got the capacitor, it just took it to another level, man. It just took it to another level, because I'm getting... <laughs> Because based off my skill tier, which is three, I'm getting that extra 22 percent, 22 and a half percent weapon damage added on to what we're already doing with our skills. Like nasty, you hear me, man? And so for the skills, I'm running the drone, and I'll switch between the drone and the turret. But I like to run the drone because if they behind cover, um, they'll, they'll go back there and get them, and droney will put that work in for you. You know, while the dronies doing this thing, I'm still popping shots, so it's buffing it, it's buffing it, and and the dronies eating. So I still need to farm some some better specs on here, but this is what I got: 3.8 percent damage increase, 6.4 percent duration, 8.4 percent health. As skill tier three, my drone striker damage is plus 60 percent, and the health is plus 210. Cooldown is 19.2 seconds. Damage is 40,000, but again, that's base. All this is base, so remember that. Once once your uh, skills proc, the numbers are going to look nasty. So like I said, I'll switch between the drone sometimes, and I'll use my turret too. And the turret's numbers are like follows. So cooldown is 15%. Duration, 317%. 0.7 if you want to get specific. Damage, this ain't the sniper one, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This, this is a sniper drone I'm looking at. I thought that that three mil threw me off. Like, wait a minute. All right, but yeah. So the assault turret. Here we go. Cool down 19.2. Duration 190. That's more like it. Health is three three point three mil. Damage 65,000. Right. And then for tier for tier three, my damage is plus 60 percent. 210 on the health. And that's this is all base. This is all base joints, right? And my my little mods on here. The boost to the health, boost to the duration, and the boost to the damage, right? And that's even though you're showing the sniper right there, that's that's what I got on there. And then I'm running the reviver hive. Even the reviver hive is gonna get you know, as you can see, plus three extra charges, 30% uh, reviver armor, range is, is a decent percent, 15, drone speed, 15% uh, increase, and 210. I think couple pieces have uh, skill repair. Uh, something on here has skill repair, or repair skills. 
and I think that goes towards my uh to, towards my revive. I believe so. But this one I only run because I run it solo, especially it helps uh, exponentially in uh when we in group play too. So I like to run it because then I could be like. I mainly I'm, I'm mainly damage with my with my DPS and my skills, but I got that kind of flexibility where I can uh, almost be uh, you know somebody goes down, everybody don't have to stop try to go get that person. I just throw my hive out, pick them up or pick her up, and we back. Everybody's still shooting. You know, I just toss it and just get back to shooting. Once they get up, if I got charges left, I run over there. If it's clear, pick it up, and it starts to heal back up, man. So. Like I said, give this a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, to all my division agents, you know, we got another year or two. We get to rock out with this game that we all love. And let's get it popping, man. I'll see you in there.